Yo! <laughs> we would have gotten 108 worshippers if we won. Yo guys, what is up? It is Alex or Black Eye here, and I'm bringing you rank 10 Kernunos in 15 games. Yes, I fucking nerded out on Tuesday. Let me tell you, I woke up, played Smite, went to bed. That was my Tuesday. It was fucking amazing. I enjoyed it so much, but I got so tired at the end. And the way this was possible, getting rank 10 from 0 TP to, I got to 1049, from 0 TP to 1000 TP in one day is due to triple worshippers, party up bonus, and the 2x boosters you can get. And I use the 2x boosters almost every single game, except I think I forgot like 3 or 4 games, so I could have gotten it in like 12 or 13 games. And it is possible to get rank 10 in 10 games, because you max out on 100 TP. So, if you play... 10 long games and win every single one with all three of these perks then you will get 100 tp and if you do that 10 games in a row it is possible to get ranked 10 in 10 games but the odds of that happening are really really low and i've always wanted to do this get a rank 10 god in one day but i've had every single god at rank one or higher that's already had four or five games on them and I saw the opportunity they released a new god on the same day as triple worshippers so I thought fuck it and I went all out so let's let's talk about how freaking busted this new god is I'm gonna say this I think he is the best god in the game right now hands down the best god in the game there isn't a reason to not play him in carry unless you are just bad with him and better with another god his basics because of his one just do more damage and his passive he just strictly does more damage than any other hunter except maybe artemis because of her passive crit chance and that's just luck but with kernunos you are guaranteed there isn't chance it's it's guaranteed your base damage plus an extra effect and that's just fucking stupid plus his passive if you're within melee range you just do more damage so if you're in the, your heat stance, which does bonus damage, then you are guaranteed at least like 25-30% bonus damage, depending on if you're on melee range or not. Well, if you're if you're within melee range, you're going to do like 30% more damage. If you're not, then you're going to do like 5-10% more damage. should probably already say this, but if you didn't know his one, he has four different stances, and you can toggle between them, and there is no like time that it takes to toggle between them. So you can literally just spam it three times, and you'll switch three stances. There isn't like a one-second cooldown just instant one stance uh, slows enemies so he has a built-in frostbound uh one debuffs like enemies protections so he's got built-in penetration doesn't work on towers though only on gods one his summer stance he ha does bonus damage so he just flat out does more damage than other gods and his lifesteal he has built in lifesteal and it caps out at like 20 percent, which is more than most fucking lifesteal items so this god is is fucking busted dude so his one is what pisses me off the most because that makes his basics strictly better than any other god in the game except maybe Artemis because of the crit chance. So if you have two evenly matched players, one person playing Kernunos and one person playing another hunter that's not Artemis, and you just and you just use basics, you're going to win. Like if you hit the same amount of basics, then you will just win by default. The only downside to his one is not knowing what stance to use at what time. And honestly, the difference between a good Kernunos player and a bad Kernunos player is effectively switching stances correctly in a team fight. Because it's dead easy to use your stances in a one-on-one. -on -one. You just go to protection debuff, then you switch to winter chill so that he's slowed, and then you just switch to summer heat and then just fuck him. Like, that's not hard to do, it's really not. But in a team fight, keeping track of what gods you have debuffed and what gods you haven't, that is difficult. And that is like the only difference between a good Kernunos player and a bad Kernunos player, is being able to effectively switch stances correctly in a team fight. Honestly, the way to balance is one, in my opinion, is, okay, first of all, <laughs> reduce the fucking lifesteal. It shouldn't be 20%. It should be maybe like 10% or like 13, 12%. His protection debuff, I think, is fine. It's really not that busted. It's 25, not 25%. So it's 25. His summer heat just, I think that, I think the summer heat is fine if you reduce the base damage on his basics most hunters do around like 53 54 damage per basic at level one if you reduce his by like 10 percent and reduce the scaling so he does like 48 damage at level one then that way you will get punished for not being in the correct stance at the correct time 
because if you're doing like 47, 48 a basic while they're doing like 53, 54 a basic, then let's say you you just sit on protection debuff on accident, then you will be losing out on that damage. But if you use all the stances correctly, then you won't get punished. So yeah, I think if they just reduce the amount of damage he did, just in general, like per basic, then I think his one would be balanced. Because then you have to actually think about like what stance you should be in. Because if you're in the wrong stance, you're not going to be doing the maximum amount of damage you could possibly do. Because right now, it doesn't really matter what stance you're in. You're just going to win. <laughs> assuming you're better than the other player. Or assuming you're evenly matched or better than the other player, you're just going to win. His two, honestly, people are kind of really upset about his two. That's his main clear. You know, you shoot out the little thing and then it roots you if it hits you and does damage over... Well, it does like area damage and then it does damage over time if you're inside of it. But I, I honestly think that's fine. They just need to take out the root. I don't know if they should take the root out completely. I think instead of the root, it should just be a slow. Because right now, if it hits you, you get rooted for like a second or two. And that and you're just fucked. Because you're standing still in something while you also take damage and get dealt damage over time. So you're just fucked. So I think it should at the very... Like, the very worst, it should be a slow. If anything, like, not do anything at all if it gets hit by you. Maybe like an like 10 20 extra bonus damage if it hits you but at the very least it should be a slow I, I think they should take out the root his three his three's fine maybe make it a little bit slower like chiron's but i think his three's fine so his ult his ult also pisses me off because it is a strictly better izanami ult it silences it does a fuck ton of damage and the radius is the size of a porn star's asshole. Like, come on, hi -res, what are you doing? So, <laughs> so I think it'll be fine if A, they reduce the size of it by a little bit, maybe like 10 units. Not the size, the radius, so reduce the radius by 10 units, or B, reduce the radius by like 50 units and have it go really fast. That might just be an exaggeration, but either make it like an Izanami ult where it's small and it goes quickly, or make it slightly smaller. But right now, it's fucking massive. You, can, you can't miss his ult. And even if the changes I suggested were implemented, I still think he would be a top tier hunter. Just because he's got that, he's got that skill gap, right? Where you, if you apply these changes, then you will get punished for not using his one correctly. And if you're against a bad Kernunos player, you're just going to dick on him because he doesn't know how to use his one correctly. Whereas if you're against a good Kernunos player, then you're going to get debuff slowed and you're going to be dealt extra damage in a matter of seconds and you're not going to realize what the fuck happened. So yeah guys, that, that was just my thoughts on Kernunos. Now I'm just going to play some highlights. I might have already played them if I'm, depending on how long this went. But yeah guys, thanks for watching. We just fucked them up. Holy shit. Was it Ashley? Ashley did not send it to me. Who the fuck sent it to me? Let him come, let him come. I got soloed by Kuzenbo! I'm done! Dakota, I'm quitting the game. Your team has been destroyed on left enemy top. You want to attack? I can't. I got you honest. I love you. Uh, I love you, Dakota. <laughs>